Hello, thank you so much everybody for coming today. It is so great to see you. And I hope you enjoyed the celebration for mothers before we entered into the shows. So um, today's theme is keep a song in your pocket. And it's from a workshop that I attended um, with a composer from Boulder, and her name is Elizabeth Gilpatrick. And she composed um, about, I bet you there are about 30 children's songs in here, and all of them are such high quality and songs that over my 15 years of teaching that I love. And I hope that your um, kids have been singing them at home and that, or that they do once you, once you see them on the stage. They're just really special songs, special lyrics, and I really hope you enjoy them. A lot of, some of the songs are rounds, so you'll, you'll hear the, the kids singing in two different, two parts, which prepares them for singing in harmony as they get older. Some of the songs have or instrumentations, so you'll see kids playing instruments with, um, with other kids while singing. So anyways, I hope you can just sit back, relax, and um, just really enjoy your children. They're, they're beautiful, they're amazing. I want to take a quick moment and thank Sean Levier and Deb Branch for their help with the live stream. I don't know if you're aware of this, but um, right now it's being live streamed on YouTube so that anyone from all around the United States could be watching or all around the world. So if you have a family member that would love to be here and you feel like they need to see it, give them a quick text, tell them that at, at CSDB's YouTube page the very top of the page is the live stream um, of the show. You can also catch it after our show is finished. It will still be there. So anyways, please enjoy. And if you have any comments or feedback for me after the show, please come and talk to me and um, in enjoy. Oh, and before I, I finish, I'd like to introduce the FCE principal, Miss Cynthia Hurst. Welcome everyone, I'm so excited to see you all here today. And like Miss Julie said, I'm so happy. I hope that everybody uh, enjoyed uh, everything that we just had, the activities and the yummy uh, treats that we enjoyed before here. I'm so excited to see so many family members here and celebrating Mother's Day that's coming up soon. So um, again, please sit back and relax and enjoy this. I did want to just let you know something about the, what's coming up in the fall really quickly. We are going to be doing a little bit of restructuring, and maybe some of you have heard a little bit about that. Um, in the fall, what will be taking place is I will become the principal of the preschool through sixth grade for our students who are deaf and hard of hearing. Um, Ms. Kristen Huddleston, who is uh, another principal who is currently in the Gottlieb building, she will become the principal of 7th through 12th grade for our students who are deaf, hard of hearing. And as many of you already know, uh, Ms. Jamie Lugo, she will actually be the principal of the preschool through 12th grade here in the Adams building for our students who are blind, visually impaired. So there'll be uh, three of us here, uh, principals on campus, who will be taking care of all the students. But I did want to give you just a little bit of a heads up of that, and you'll be getting more information about that coming up in June, okay? Well, again, sit back and relax and enjoy this wonderful performance from your awesome children. We're so excited to have you here again today. And without further ado, here we go. Okay. Sure, absolutely. Teddy bears wiggle your hips. Turn around and then we bow. And teddy bears 
first semester and as you see she's been doing a wonderful job parents do you mind acknowledging for me um, miss Sharon Kay Sharon can you come out please <laughs> and she's not on stage so I'm gonna repeat what I just said if you don't mind so she hears if she's here is she coming she's probably helping kids out, outside Sharon Kay 
Sharon, I just want to say thank you so much for all your hard work with the show. You're just amazing with these children. And parents, just say good luck to her. She's leaving in a couple weeks to go back uh, in a few weeks. She doesn't want to leave. She wants to stay forever. And I want her to stay forever. So thank you so much for everything. Okay, parents, I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you at the end of the year. Or maybe I'll see you in the winter for the winter program. Come talk to me if you need to. Thank you. Or want to.